I would ship it. Hold up, I got some pocket sand. So much fucking sense. I know. How do you put the rape on? Can't get arrested. Nuh-uh. <laughs> yeah, you can't get arrested if you say nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. I've started to mute, Master Wayne. A little bit EP. Can I take a nap during the video? <laughs> oh, the celebrity. Don't fit. I mean, All right. Hey guys, Yazi from Yazi here. Um, today we are giving you my Shroom and Sasa deck profile. Um, I feel like this deck was undervalued compared to the Mechabura deck that had been like topping every regional recently. Um, this is like a very defensive deck, more defensive than Me Mechabura. You can. Is that Phil? We're trying to record you! Um, yeah, so this hero awakens at 6 when you have 6 cards in your warp. On this side, you uh, warp 2 cards, top 5, and then this side, uh, warp 1 card from hand, and then draw 2. Very good, uh, also has a Z awaken, we'll get to that. Um, Alright, start off with you play 2 Black Marseillans. I don't like playing any higher than this. Um, you, there's other ways to uh, like add this card from your hand. Um, it's okay to get like turn one, but we're also a 58 card deck. And you could bump this up to four, but I really don't like it at four. You can bump it at three, but two is good enough. Then play three Dark Mechabiru Final Battle at hand. Um, main reason why you play this is because it's another milling, like not milling, a warping card from your deck but it also has the only card in your deck with Overlord. Um, so yeah, uh, three is good enough. As, as I said, there's other ways to add it back to hand. Um, we then play Demon God Salsa, Dark King's Vanguard. What? What? We're just, we're just getting you know, the behind the scenes. Behind, Tangerine. Um, yeah, uh, also helps you awaken, very good. Also, when it, your leader and your Z leader, uh, on your, your awaken side and your Z awaken side, once per turn, you can combo with a card from your warp. This one gains an extra 1k, so it's the defensive one. It's like having an extra super combo. Um, then we play four Dark King Mechabiru, uh, Might, Can... Incon... Inconceivable. Um, it's just a 20k uh, unison that you can play for one and then becomes two, three. Uh, usually people will like swing down your unison, but you don't care about it. It doesn't generate any more value. Um, and you have self awakening in the deck, so you don't care about it. It's just good because you have a unison that you can use unison abilities with. And one. It's a bit late for it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't like having my hair tied up, but look at my um. <laughs> I have my uh, mutton chops. I finally was able to grow facial hair that wasn't just here and here. <laughs> Tangerine. All right, uh, for Toa Dark Demon Realm Madness. So this card is the reason why we play Unison. Um, once per turn, you can combo with it, gains f uh, 10k and gives the card double strike. This is only on your Demon Realm race cards. It doesn't work on your lead, uh, on your unison swing, but it does work with you, uh, your leader swing. A lot of the times you can just swing with this, combo with this from your, um, from your warp, give your leader 15k and double strike. More, more than enough, this is good enough to get you through the mid game. Just cost one and uh, one spirit boost. We also do summon this off one of our um, extra cards, uh, which, uh, yeah, it gains 5k critical, and I think it also uh, chews up to one of your parents' battle cards and sent to the warp. Very fun, very good card. Promo, expensive though. Um, we then play three Demon God Toa Umbral Might. 
So this is against those matchups like red where they have just this or green that just has this unkillable unison like baby or um, like the raditzes or whatever. We play three of this. When you swap, because this tower has swap, it does? Yeah. When you swap, your opponent must choose up to two cards. And if they, uh, two cards from hand field, sent to the warp, or you take control of their unison, it's a dual attack 15k, good enough on its own. We then play four Demon God Salsa Stormclad. This is just to keep control of your opponent's hand. It's also uh, the only card in our deck that we can summon with our le a Z leader ability. Um, when it's summoned, you warp card from your deck and then you your opponent warps a card from hand. 20k single strike servant, good enough on its own. Then play two Demon God Shroom Dark Royalty. Only reason why this is in here is to keep up the um, the Shroom and Salsa cards to summon the six drop. But that's it. That's the only reason why it's in here. Master Wayne. A tangerine. A tangerine. I found. I found. He was throwing out tangerines the size of a bandit. They're throwing out tangerines the size of a local government. <laughs> I'm tangerine Alfred Batman. I'm gooning Batman. <laughs> I've been mewing and gooning for four hours, Batman. <laughs> if if we, our channel gets banned, <laughs> yeah, this is deck profile. Come on, man. You have to be serious with deck profile, man. We've always been serious with deck profile. Uh for Demon God Salsa Dark Royalty. Um, this card is very good. Uh, when your leader ability on your normal side mills this, it's the only way this card is able to use the ability. Um, it warps a card from your hand, you draw a card, then you warp a card from the top of your deck. You can awaken turn two with this, um, just by milling it. We then play four Transcended Shroom and Transcended Salsa Strategy of the Ultimate Form. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> look at, look at the card! <laughs> Look how fucking look, look at it. Oh, it's not. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. It's so long. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh name. Um, when this card swings, you can add two cards from your life to your hand, and then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the warp. Doesn't get rid of barrier. Nothing in this deck does. Black always ha suffers. Black always suffers with barrier. Um, activate main. You can so. The way you summon this is you can summon this card from your warp, just like the Shroom and Salsa one. Um, it, if you have a Shroom and Salsa card, so it or a Shroom and a Salsa card um, in your combo area, activate battle. Um, and then if you have three life and three Z energy, you can place three Z energy into your drop and then Z awaken. Very good because your normal Z awaken only does that while you're at two. We then play four Demon God Shroom and Demon God Salsa Unending Nightmare. Um, this is another one of our Servant cards, but it's unable to be summoned with our Leader ability. But that's perfectly fine. It's a battle trick that your if your opponent swings and you have two energy open, um, you can combo with two black cards, summon it, pop their um, battle card that's swinging, and then, oh, not pop, warp, and then warp a card from your opponent's hand as well. It's very good. It's a 30k double strike. Um, only downside, it's a 1 cost 10k combo. Only reason why it's like a bit hard. Um, also, if it's removed from the battle area, it goes to the bottom of the deck instead, which is... <sighs> Batman, I've taken your liberties away from you. I've taken your super liberties. <laughs> For a test drive. <laughs> we now owe the local government $30,000. I forgot to file your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Batman while you are gone. <laughs> I'll ask well, Joker not to do anything for a while. <laughs> while I get my bearings. Master Wayne, I'll visit you in Arkham and bring you a tech deck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, two Super Saiyan God Sun Goku Berserk Instinct. 
You can place it three. I don't like it three. I like it at two. Um, because you, if you combo with this, this goes to your opponent's side of the field. Only reason why I don't like it. Um, but it is a 25k double strike servant card that costs one that you can just like swing with. Very good. We then have our Saiyan package. So because we're a black leader, um, we get to play a lot of really cool battle tricks. So to start off with, we play one trunk's power overseeing time. This can add any card from your warp to your hand. Cost two, it's a double strike 20k, so it's okay to like, like leave a turn to summon this and swing with. But it can add any card. So it can add our secret rare, can add anything. Um, then we'll go on to Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku Beyond All Limits. <laughs> I can't do that. I have a lab mic. <laughs> Master Wayne, I have gotten naked in your backyard. Master Wayne, I'm calling you from the police station. <laughs> Arrested for public indecency. I've been arrested for goodness. Can you please, can you please bring me a tangerine? <laughs> Ben's dying. He's hyperventilating. Get him a tangerine, quick. Uh, <laughs> Twenty minutes. Oh, so Goku, so uh, beyond all limits, you can add any. Uh, so, uh, any black battle card with between three and seven um, from your warp to your hand, which most of the time you add Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Heated Fighting Spirit. It's a 30k popper card, uh, critical. Just summoning these two, you can do it in any black deck, so that's why this is in here as well. We then play one Super Saiyan Bardock, the Tenacious. It's another card we can like cycle with our leader, like not leader, but our um, Saiyan package. One King Vegeta, a Kingdom Lost. I now know what this card does compared to the Foo deck list. It's a unique double strike barrier. Um, when when played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and sent to the owner's warp. And then when your opponent... Uh, when this card is rest mode, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and sends it to the warp. It's very good. I like this card a lot. A lot of the time, I will be summoning this, just leaving it in the rest mode. It's barrier. They're not going to swing into it. Most of the time, they can't get rid of it. And then one Mars Saiyan, Brainwash No More. This is like our only win con against Vin Victory Strike. Um, they will go swing, dump their entire hand, and then you can go Vic uh, Brainwash No More, and then um, don't take any Victory Strike damage. Then play... For Super Saiyan Vegeta the Prince strikes back as our super combo. Um, yeah. Uh, put one card from your hand at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes you can add your shrooms to the bottom of your deck. Draw two cards. We then play two ultimate minus energy power ball. Um, because you have a unison, the activate uh the, the counter attack is free to warp a card with barrier with 15k or less and send it to the warp. Use this against the yellow U7 card that uh, prevents you from swinging the leader. We then play three. Stop. We need to get <laughs> three power burst. It's our only good negate in the get deck. This deck doesn't need negates. Um, you usually just combo out. Um, you add one black battle card from your warp to your hand. Two support of the Dark Empire, and then we play our monkey. Um, I like playing the Monkey over Kumba in this deck because it has better win conditions than um, Kumba. We can also add this card back with the the Trunks, which is the only card that can do that. So if you mill both, it's kind of bad, but most, most games you don't. Go on to our Z extra cards. Two Toa. You summon this Toa with... Um, you summon the two drop toll with this for free by putting a card from your hand at the bottom of your deck. It is called Toa Unpredictable Offense. One Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta uh, Surmounting Impossible. Um, a lot of times you can be on four life. This will get you a three so that you can Z awaken. You play Demon God Demigra Begrudging Ally. Um, it's there if, if you warp a card, you can warp a battle card. Uh, like warp a, warp a card in, then you can play this. Uh, you can warp a battle card. 
would play one final Kamea, uh, Mighty Blast, just because you're black, and then our one uh, Demon God Salsa Z extra card. Z Leader, uh, which is a 20k double strike, and then you can combo with two cards from your warp. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry, go. Uh, that's it for the deck profile. Um, I like this deck. I wouldn't take this to a regionals though, but it's a good deck if you want to learn what other decks do because you play defensively very well and you have a lot of battle tricks. But yeah, there's you put a video. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Goodbye. <laughs> Master Wayne, I'm watching Yazi on YouTube. <laughs> I'm learning how to play card games. We should go on five and get like a mic look at the impression. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. oh.